Hello everyone, Ian here at Able Cine in Burbank. Today I want to look at how to load a 3D LUT into the Sony FS7. Now in a previous blog, Andy showed us how to do this using Sony software, Sony RAW Viewer, and applying those LUTs into the F5 and the F55. Now the procedures that he followed are the same for the FS7. What I want to concentrate on today is 3D LUTs that are generated from sources other than the Sony software. So today we're going to take some source material, put it into Resolve, export a 3D LUT, and then apply it. To get the process started, I'm going to take an SD card and go in and format it in the camera. I'm going to start in the media menu, go in there, and I'm going to format my SD card. And you'll see that the SD card is the only thing uh, highlighted right now because that's the only media I have in the camera. I've made sure that there's nothing on the SD card that I need to save and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to format it. So now we have to go and put a folder structure onto the SD card that the camera will recognize once the 3D LUT has been put to the SD card. The easiest way to do this is to go into the file menu and do an all file. And we're going to go into the file menu and I'm going to select all file and I'm going to save to the SD card. I'm going to choose Position number one. This is just uh, allowing you to put numerous different types of files onto the SD card. So I'm going to select position one, save file, and there we go. Now, just to verify that I have that on the SD card, I can load SD card, and there it is in position one. There's the all file. All files can be really handy if you're going to uh, have the camera away from you for a while and somebody else uses it and you want to come back and set it up the way you like it. Uh, it's just a great way to also transfer those looks to another camera. So now that we have the folder structures in place on the SD card, now we can go over to the desktop. So here we are on my desktop. I have the no name. That's the SD card that we did the format and we did the all file transfer to. So if I open that up, it has the private folder and all the folder structure that we are accustomed to with a Sony camera. Below that, I have Untitled 1. This is an XQD card, and I have some shots on there uh, that we're going to use as the source to generate the LUT that we're going to import uh, to the camera from Resolve. I'm going to go into Resolve. Here is my shot on the XQD. I'm going to put that into the media pool, create a edit timeline, and go to the color tab. The color tab is where you do all your work in terms of uh, creating a look from the log material. You'll notice in the viewer here that it's washed out. It's typical log type footage that hasn't been corrected yet. First thing I'm going to do is go into this node. We're going to do some real simple stuff here. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to delog it, slog3, direct709. And I'm going to bring the levels in. OK, so let's just keep it there. We're going to keep it real simple. I'm going to go to my thumbnail. And I'm going to go uh, control click. And notice one of the choices I have here is generate a 3D LUT cube file. Cube is simply a uh, file structure uh, that is used very commonly, a uh, very common format that's used to import and export LUTs to and from hardware and software. So I'm going to create that, go to my desktop, and I'm just going to call this FS7 LUT. And I'll create a folder on my desktop called FS7 LUT. Uh, create it, save it, and there it is on my desktop. And it's, there it is. It's a cube file, so we're all good there. Next step is I have to go into my SD card again. I have to create a folder that the FS7 will recognize in order to get my cube file into the camera. To do that, I am going to create a new folder, and it has to have this precise name. So type in PMWF55 underscore F5. You must have this exact file name or folder name 
in order for the camera to accept your LUT. I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to put it into the camera folder. So now it's a subfolder of the camera folder. I can now open up the folder that was generated by, or the folder I made from Resolve, holding the cube file. And now I'm going to place that into the F5, F55 F5 folder. There it is. Now I can eject my SD card and I can put it into the FS7 and do the import. Now that I have the SD card loaded into the camera, let's go into the menus and apply our LUT. Here I've gone to the file menu and the first thing I want to do is actually load this or the load the look that we have on my SD card into the memory of the camera. To do that, I'm going to go file and because we're using a 3D LUT, I'm going to go to the monitor 3D LUT menu, click in. First thing I want to do is see what's in the camera now. So current settings shows that it has uh, the factory default low con 709 or rec 709 in all four positions. You can hold four 3D LUTs in memory on this camera. Now I want to go and load the look that I have on my SD card into the camera. So I'm going to load SD card. And what this one through four menu right here is asking me is where of those four positions do I want to hold this in memory in the camera? Let's just use number one. And it's now asking me on the SD card, what file do I want to move over? We only have one on here called FS7 LUT. So I'm going to select that and move it over. Okay, now it's moved it over. Let's go back to current settings and verify that the camera did indeed load it into its internal memory. And there it is, great. All right, now the next step in the process is we have it loaded in the memory of the camera. Now I want to apply it to one of the outbounds on the camera to uh, some type of monitor. So, or I could take it to the viewfinder. So I'm gonna go up to the video menu and I'm going to go to the monitor LUT menu. This is where we go in and we tell the camera uh, what kind of LUT we want to send to where do we want to send it. So here I have a user 3D LUT selected. I could go with a look profile. Look profiles are essentially 3D LUTs that Sony created. They are the D-Lug LUT with color information, but they came from Sony with the camera. And LUT is a 1D LUT. We worked with a 3D LUT, so I'm going to select that category, and I'm going to select my user 3D LUT number one. So this is the one I made, and we located it here in number one. Now the last step in the process is just deciding where we want to uh, apply that LUT. Keep in mind, we're uh, you know, pumping out log out of the camera right now, and that's what you're seeing on the menus right now, by the way. So I'm going to go into SDI number two. That's the feed that I'm uh, sending to the recorder that's showing you these menus. And I'm going to, well, before I turn it on, let's take a look and see what it looks like without the LUT applied. All right, so there's our uh, chroma demand, and it's a typical log typing uh, type of look here. Now let's go in and now let's turn the LUT on. And there you go. There is the LUT that we applied and we created. Having the ability to load 3D LUTs into the FS7 makes it incredibly powerful and flexible. It's yet another way that we can facilitate getting our vision of what we think the footage should look like to post and to our clients. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.